Hello ladies and gents, we're going to be taking a quick look into PC Building Simulator with a Let's Play. So PC Building Simulator was released uh, 27th of March, so fairly recently. Uh, it's just gone into its open alpha phase and available on the Steam Workshop. It's a lot of fun, uh, it's quite addictive, uh, so this is just going to be a playthrough of the first couple of days of the campaign and uh, I will probably go on to make a few videos of this as we go uh, throughout the campaign. So, uh, at the moment you uh, click on your new campaign game or your new game, come up with this uh, little welcome message saying, Welcome to PC Building Simulator. To begin, go to your PC by the doorway and open the email program on the desktop. You've got mail. So we'll go ahead and do that uh, in just a second, but right now I'm just going to give you a little tour of the workshop. So when you start, it looks a lot like this. You've got uh, PCs that arrive in boxes like this, uh, they'll stack themselves up on the door, uh, in the corridor. Um, and when you fix them, you just drop them down the other end there. Uh, you've also got space to uh, unlock certain things as you progress. Uh, so you have the option of getting two workshop, uh, two extra workstations, um, so you can work on three PCs at the same time, which uh, does help quite a bit. Uh, and you got a storage cupboard as well. So I think the storage cupboard you get at level six. Uh, the second station you get, at, or the third station technically, you get at level eight. And the second station you get at level three. Uh, they're quite expensive though. So this first one is the only one I've unlocked, and it's fifteen hundred bucks. Uh, so it sets you back. It's quite well, not difficult to earn money, but difficult to earn money and stay above your overdraft in the early stages of the game. Uh, as far as I can tell anyway, maybe I'm just spending money crazy. But, there you go. So, we'll go ahead and uh, get this underway. We'll click on the computer and go to the emails. And it comes up with uh, an email browser. So, the first one is from timbo2000 at supermail.com. And it's saying, hey, thanks for taking over the PC shop for me. Sorry it's not in a better state. A few things. The company isn't doing very well and there's no money in the back account. It should say bank. No money in the bank account. Not very good. Uh, the rent and energy bills come out monthly, so make sure you have enough money for them. I had a job on the go, which should help with the rent. See the email below. Uh, remember to use your thermal paste when putting in the CPU. I almost always forget and the PCs overheat, which is not very good. Uh, so I think you're all set up. It's your company now, so run it how you see fit. I hope you did better than I did. Lots of love, Uncle Tim. P.S. I had to borrow 15 bucks for fuel. You know how it is. Ah, scoundrel. So there we can see at the top right it's got your level uh, display and this fills up as you proceed through levels. Uh, and then it's got your bank account. So your bank account is currently at minus 15 thanks to the lovely Uncle Tim. So go for the next one which is gobin at allthemail.com. That virus scan. So hi Tim, I hope you can help me. My computer's been running slower than usual. I think I might have clicked on something I shouldn't have. Do I have a virus? Thanks Gary. So he's going to pay us 100 bucks just to check if he's got a virus easy money. So I'll click on go to the PC and it drops us out there uh, to your PC that's been delivered. It will arrive in a box like this and it'll have uh, a lovely little sticky note on top saying scan and then the customer. So as you can see there it says G Auburn. Uh, on the right it will pop up with your objectives and if they're in red you haven't done them. If they're in green uh, it's good to go. So the PC is ready to boot but uh, we need to remove the viruses so we'll go ahead and right click and pick up the PC and the box magically disappears and we'll go and click it and drop it on our workstation. So what we need to do is we need to connect up the PC and then scan it for viruses so we'll go ahead and click on the PC. Plug the PC in. For this job you need to run a virus scan. Press 3 or the cable button and plug the monitor, mouse, uh, keyboard and power into the back of the PC. So I'll go ahead and click continue and then you can see install, remove cable and power 123p. So we'll go ahead and click on cable and then these turn to orange. So you need to press click and drag them in. So we'll connect the mouse and keyboard to the motherboard. Go ahead and put a HDMI into the graphics card and we'll plug the power in. So insert the USB drive. You now need to put your USB drive into the back of the PC so you can install the virus scanner. Press 1 or the install button to go to your inventory and select the USB drive. It plugs into the USB slot in the back of the PC. Right, so we'll go ahead and do that. So install, tools, USB, and there we go. Press and hold and then you go. 
power on the PC. Now press P or the power button to turn on the PC. Click on the monitor to use the operating system of the machine. Right, continue. Oh, nope, we don't want to remove that. So we'll go ahead and put the power on. And as you can see, it boots up. There you go, click to use the computer. Install the virus scanner. Welcome to the Omega OS, the operating system of choice. Click on Add Remove Programs to install the virus scanner. Don't forget to restart the PC after it's installed. So, it's a lot like a, like you would use your normal PC. It's quite nice like that. Um, so yeah, we're just installing it. It asks us if we want to restart now, so click Yes. And that'll boot back up. And then we've got the virus scanner in the top left there. So if we just double click on that and click Start Scanning. So let's have a look. Scanned files taking three seconds. 352 dirty files or virus ridden files. That's not very good. So we'll go ahead and clean them. Well, hey, you've removed all the viruses and the PC is to be returned to the client. Pick the PC up with the right mouse button and place it in the corridor. So go ahead and click continue. And we'll close that. Now, I always remove the program after I'm done. I don't know if this is actually a game mechanic, but I think it would be awesome if it is. Um, whereas they might come back to you uh, with more viruses and more problems with their PC if you've removed the virus scanner and they can't scan themselves. So maybe I'm a bit of a dick, but I'm going to go ahead and remove that and just reboot it. And then we'll shut it down. So yeah, like I said, I don't know if that's actually a mechanic of the game, but I reckon that would be pretty cool if it was. Um, so yeah, for ages I was going back into the PC and unplugging these cables and the USB drive one by one, but it's a lot simpler than that. You could just right click and walk it out and it'll disconnect everything. And then you've got various different slots you can put it in. I normally have a system of if I fix the PC, I will put it down this end. Okay, there we go. Collect your reward. Great. Now you need to collect your pay. Go to your email and hit collect. Uh, but yeah, I normally put the ones I've finished down this end, and then the ones that arrive are normally up towards this end. Uh, just a system that works for me when you've got loads of PCs. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll click on the computer to use it. And then right here, we've it's come green now because we removed the viruses, so we'll click collect. And there we go. We've now got $85 because we've been paid 100 So I'll go ahead and discard that and that. And one from Auburn, and some new ones are going to start arriving. Hi there, I just wanted to say thank you for fixing my PC. It's booting faster than it has in years. I didn't realise your uncle had gone away. It looks like the business is in good hands though. Thanks again, Gary. Very nice of you, Gary. Let's go ahead and remove that one. And right, so we've got Sherman Dental, Range Mail, and Queen Brittany. So, help. Hello, could you have a look at my PC please? It isn't running as well as it did when I first bought it and I've probably not been taking the best care of it. It looks a bit dirty. Could you give it the once over please? If you can, I'll bring it around tonight and it'll be ready for you in the morning. So I need to remove the viruses again and clean out the dust. Lovely. Nice quick and easy job for $100. Yes please. So things take time. Customers PCs will take a day to arrive. So end the current day by going to the workshop door. So we'll go and do that in a second, but we need to read our other emails first. So, we've got G. Walters, more space. Hello, I need some more space to back up my files. Could you install the 500 gigabyte hard disk drive along my along with my existing drive? Please, I'll bring it around first thing in the morning. Thank you, Gemma. So, we have to install the Mortini 500 gigabyte SAP 3 gigabyte a second or better hard disk drive for 190 bucks. We'll go ahead and accept that buy your components. So we need to go to the shop uh, on the PC and buy the components you need and have them delivered at the same time as the client's PCs. So we'll go ahead and do that in a second after we've had a look at this next one. So Queen Brittany. Hi, my graphics card has fried itself and I need it to be replaced with the same one please. NVIDIA GTX 970. Maybe some of those Sheen ones. I can drop it around first thing tomorrow and she will pay us the lovely sum of 395 bucks. So that sounds good to me, so I'll go ahead and click accept. What I'm going to do is open up a new window for the shop, which is on the desktop here. And like I was saying before, this is a lot like an actual PC, so you can move it about the uh, desk. Excuse me. You move it around the desktop, you can maximize it, uh, you can minimize it, and reopen it from the taskbar, uh, or of course you can close it, but we're not going to go ahead and do that. So it's just like a normal website. You've got each section, 
which you can just click on uh, one by one or you can just go ahead and search. So the first thing I need to get is a GTX 970 Gamer. So we'll go to uh, graphics cards. Ooh. Go to graphics cards and let's have a look. So GTX 960, 960, 960, 960, 1050. Have I missed it? Okay, we'll make it easier on ourselves. We'll just put in 970. There we go. Sheen GeForce GTX 970 Gamer. So she's paying 395 and the cheapest one is 265 So we'll go ahead and we'll get that is the one she had before and what's the other thing so we need 500 gigabytes so we'll go to storage we'll get rid of our search and it will come up with everything so Mortini easy store 500 gigabytes so we'll click on that one and add to cart so we clicked on view cart in the top right and it says time for your delivery oh time your delivery sorry use the delivery options to choose when best to receive your components often it's better to pay for faster delivery than wait days to receive things so we'll go ahead and click okay so you've got different ones here it's got what we're ordering and then you got same day for 100 uh next day for 30 or three to five for 10. so we'll go ahead and stick with next day and buy it now and your order will arrive by tomorrow so we will close that and we've gone back into minus money which isn't very good but hopefully that will sort it out um, just a quick note here so you get emails from your bank uh, when you go into overdraft just like you do in real life once again uh, so if you go on that says valued customer here at megacorp we know that life doesn't always run smoothly so we provide a free overdraft for all of our customers your free overdraft limit is one thousand dollars so we're on minus 260, so we are well within that. Just go ahead and discard that, and we'll go and end the day. So you click on the door at the end of the corridor to leave the workshop. It comes up saying, ending the day. Here you end your day in advance to tomorrow, but make sure you've accepted your jobs and ordered the components you need before, uh, before you go home for the evening. So we have, we're all good. Go ahead and click next, and it brings up the calendar. So on the calendar you've got very nicely simply color coded layout orange with email addresses or computers that are coming uh, to arrive for you uh, so today is highlighted as the 1st of January 2018 uh, and it's in orange there or yellow there then on the 2nd which is Tuesday tomorrow uh, we've got three computers arriving and the delivery which comes up in green and then things that you have to complete stuff by so you have to pay your utility pay your rent or jobs that have a deadline will come up in red so go ahead and click end day the customer's pc is here pick it up with the right mouse button and take it to your workbench to fix it so go ahead and continue and as i was saying to see it a little bit better you've got scan upgrade and fix in your different colors here and delivery of the graphics card and the hard drive in green so we're going to go ahead and go to work rather than being lazy and skipping a day. Uh, your new parts have arrived. Click on the boxes to put them in your inventory. So go ahead and click continue. So on the right here, you can left click for the delivery and it shows you that we've got the graphics card and the hard disk drive being delivered. And then we've got the three computers once again with a lovely sticky note. So fix, upgrade and scan. So we'll go with the fix first, right click to pick it up. And put it into here. This is where it comes in handy to have the other two. You can like go back and forward pick up all three and you can work on all of them simultaneously if you like but we will go ahead and we will remove so it's very easy to remove stuff anything that you can remove very like straight away will come up in green uh, like so so then we just have to unscrew the thumb screws there to take up the side panel and away it comes um, right so you can move about inside it's all quite uh, nice actually I think you can see all the components the a lot of them are licensed components from AMD Intel cooler master NZXT that kind of thing so as you can see here this is an NZXT case um, and as I was saying so orange you can't remove because it's got this red thing here so I have to remove this wire if I want to unplug it for example green ones I can just remove straight away um, and then that's probably a better one to see I can't remove the motherboard until I disconnect everything uh, so we were replacing the graphics card, so we'll go ahead and click on the graphics card and remove the thumb screw. And voila, out it comes. We'll go to install, and then it's 
very nicely set up here. You've got all your tools and one thing which you can't sell but you need to use, so like thermal paste, compressed air for cleaning, anti-USB and drive for installing stuff. You can also search for parts you need by just uh, looking in there. So if I was to type in Sheen, like we were about to, uh, it won't come up in tools, but if you go to graphics cards, it'll come up there, but it won't show in any of the other ones. Uh, I'll just go ahead and remove that. Um, so it's got the side panel, which is used, but we installed the graphics card. So we've got this one, which is broken and used. So we will sell it for eight bucks. We don't need it anymore and put in the new one. So click and hold, put it in. Tighten up the thumb screw, and that is pretty much us replace the graphics card. So we'll go ahead and install the side panel back on, and tighten up the thumb screws. And then once again, we need to cable the PC back up. So in go the mouse and keyboard, in goes the HDMI cable, and in goes the power cables to the PSU. Uh, now one thing I will say which gets a little bit annoying is cabling stuff uh, gets a little bit, well not, not really the cabling itself but uh, if I just go ahead and remove one of these again go back to cabling it's quite annoying that even if you miss by like a couple of millimeters and do that it just deselects it and if you're in a bit of a rush and just doing it it can be quite annoying uh, but it's not the end of the world just be a little bit more careful uh, but that's my one negative point I think I've got for this game. That's out of everything else, that's the one negative point that I have, and it's just me being finickety, really. So we'll go ahead and hit P and see if it boots up. And there we go. It's all booted, graphics cards replaced. We're all good. So we will move this. Ooh. We will move this back to the door using my little system. And go ahead and put it down here. Uh, right, so we've got upgrades, so we're upgrading the hard disk drive this time. So we'll go ahead and put it there. We'll start working on this PC, and uh, so this is an NZXT case, so because I have one of these, well not this exact one, but I have an NZXT case, I know that the, hot, the ports are at the back. So what I'm going to do is click on the wrong thing first, but I'm going to remove this side panel here. And at the back here, it's probably easier to turn around this way, you can see the disk drive bays, so we'll go ahead and open that, we'll go to our storage and install ooh, and install the hard disk drive, and then we'll go ahead and close it and cable it up, so you need to put the SATA into the motherboard, and then you need to connect it to the PSU, like that, and then we'll go ahead and install the panel back on tighten the thumb screws and there we go what I like about this is it could be used quite a bit to teach you how to build a PC um, everything that you do here is exactly the way you would do it if you're actually building a PC yourself um, I definitely wish I had something like this when I was building a PC uh, just to show me how to do it because when I first built my first PC I had absolutely no clue what I was doing but as we all know, it ended up very well because I'm still here and I'm talking to you guys now, so I couldn't have done it that wrong. Uh, but it's definitely a good tool to use if you're not quite sure what you're doing. Um, just to make sure that, well, just to learn a little bit more about it on a game rather than doing it yourself and potentially working up, uh, making quite an expensive mistake, let's say. Uh, by just messing something up or pushing something too hard or something like that. That's, the, like, that's just about the only thing I won't teach you, how hard to push things in and what sounds you're going to listen to. Uh, but it, it's a very good tool for learning how to do stuff and how to replace parts of your PC, I think. Right, so look at this mucky disgrace. Should be shot. Uh, right, so we'll left click to work on it and it says cleaning a PC. Uh, press the install button and go to compressed air from your tools and click on the PC's components to blow the way the dust until it's all been removed. So we'll go ahead and do that now, we'll get the compressed air and we'll blow out the dust on the front of the case so it's literally just click and hold and it'll come off eventually. Like so. And then we need to remove the side panel to get into the nitty gritty. And remove all the dust from the inside. So away comes the side panel, we'll go back to our compressed air again and start cleaning out the inside. It does it very quickly, which is handy. 
Uh, there's certain things that you can do. So that's the motherboard clean, and then we'll just go around to the back and clean the PCIe locking port, the PSU, and the covers, like so. Uh, so you've got the dust filter on the top. Things like the dust filters are quite handy because you can just remove them, and it gets rid of all of the dust. And I believe there'll be one by the PSU here as well. Yes, there is. That's the dust filter is pretty much done. Um, you can't remove the front of this case, so you like some cases have grills here, uh, like dust covers again. I know my case does, uh, just to stop like catch a lot of the dust that goes into the fans. Uh, but yeah, so now what we're doing: PC can boot OS and remove viruses. So we need to go ahead and cable it up, which we'll do now. So as you'd assumed, mouse, keyboard, monitor, and Power. What we'll do is we'll also go ahead and put the dust filters that are clean back on just to save a bit of time later. So that's the top, that's the PSU, and then the side panel. Tighten up the thumb screws and power it on. I almost forgot as well, we'll go ahead and put the USB drive into the back and it's all powered on and working. We'll go ahead, add the virus scanner. Come on. All right, restart the computer. Let's see how many viruses this person's got. So we'll start scanning. Ooh, 434, that's a lot. So we'll clean those infected files. We'll go ahead and remove the program just cuz all right and we will restart there we go it's uninstalled we'll shut it down right click and we'll go ahead and place it by the door ready for pickup so that's three more PCs done so what we'll do is we'll click on the computer we'll collect money for all three and there we go, so we've leveled up, so we've unlocked a bunch of new stuff because we've leveled up. Go ahead and just discard that, and that, and that, and that. Right, so here's the new emails. We've got three new emails. Help. I need your help. I borrowed my mum's brand new PC, and I think I clicked on something I shouldn't have. It's now riddled with viruses. Uh, I've been watching porn on this mum's computer again. Uh, I need it done before she gets back from a friend's house on the 1st of the 4th, 2018. So it's an American game. It's backwards. It'll be the 4th of the 1st. 2018, so that's in two days. Please hurry. Cheers, Harry. So remove viruses complete by the end of uh, the fourth. So that's going to get $100. That's very simple for us to do. So I'm not very good with computers. Mine isn't working properly as it's been getting very hot lately. I'm running slower and slower. I don't think I can hear the fan anymore. It lives on the floor of my dusty office and I hope it's not all clogged up. Oh, another one we have to clean the dust out of. People need to look after their PCs. If you do have a f uh, have to replace the fan, please pick the cheapest one. I can't afford anything fancy. Thanks, Audrey. So we have to replace the air cooler and clean out the dust for 140. Simple enough. And stuff my daughter's new PC. I'm giving my daughter my new PC. She needs a lot of RAM apparently. She says she needs 16 gigabytes. I've currently got two gigabytes and four RAM slots on my motherboard. Okay, so he's not got a lot, so we need to upgrade it to 16, so that would be 14 gigabytes of RAM we need to give him in total. And that's for 280, so again, we'll accept that. Right, so we need to get some parts for tomorrow, so we need to replace the air cooler. So we'll go to the shop, we'll go to cooling, and then you've got a couple of different types. So most people's computers will have, you have to match the socket up, so different coolers go for different things. So if it's an AMD rig and it's got an AMD motherboard, it will have an AMD socket for the CPU, which means it will have a bit different fan fittings, which is AM3, AM4, FM2. Or you've got the uh, Intel side of things, which will be LGA sockets. So I think most of the game's LGA sockets are uh, 1151s, uh, just different types of it. Um, so I'm not 100% sure which one it is, and they're both fairly cheap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and buy the 10 buck one that will fit on an Intel uh, socket and I'm going to go ahead and buy an AMD one just in case again it's nice and cheap and who knows I might need it later on in the story. 
So we'll go down to memory as well. So he needed... What was it he needed? He needed 16 gigabytes of RAM. So we'll just open up the shop again. And 16 gigabytes of RAM will... We can't get... No, we can't get a 16 gigabyte stick yet as we haven't unlocked it. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get two 8 gigabyte sticks. So he's paying 100, 280, it's 100 dollars for a stick of that. And it's 80 bucks for a stick of that. So we'll go ahead and get two of these. So four things, 220 including 30 day next, deliver, uh, next day delivery fee. And we have 433 so we're all good. Well, I suppose technically we've got 1433. So we will go ahead and click buy now and your order will arrive tomorrow. So that's all good. It's gone down to $213 and we can go ahead and start a new day. So must complete job as I was saying earlier, things that need to be done uh, by a deadline uh, come up in red. So we'll end the day now and we've got the delivery of scan, fix and upgrade for three different people and the delivery of our new parts. So we'll go ahead and go to work like before. We will collect our delivery of parts and we will start with the upgrade, nice and simple. So we'll go ahead and whack that down here and just get to work. So as you presumed, we're removing the side panel and we need to put in some more RAM. So what we'll do is remove their old two gigabyte. They don't need that anymore. And we'll go to memory and we'll put the new ones in so like you would in real life you have to open up the uh, memory port locking clips and then put a new one in and they just go back uh, back to normal uh, once you put it in we'll put the side panel back on which is all done and then we will connect everything back up like we have done so many times before So it's upgraded, we'll hit P, power it on, turns on, all done, Bob's your uncle, nice quick memory install, we'll drop that by, excuse me, we'll drop that by the door, and we'll pick up Aubrey's computer, and that is just a mess. Uh, this is actually my case I have the exact same one just not in purple and white I have it in black and red so it's what is it? it's the NZXT S340 I want to say uh, very nice case I quite like the little bar it's got for hiding the wires as well uh, it looks very nice so maybe one day I will go ahead and build my my rig for you guys uh, in PC building simulator at the moment though they don't have um, water cooling uh, put into the simulation. I hope that's something they want to add later on. I think that would be quite a cool feature because I've got a Kraken water cooler so basically I've got uh, two fans here and a radiator and then it comes over and it's like a little RGB uh, cooler that goes over here and it runs water around and it works really well actually. keeps my computer very nice and cold. But I digress, so we've cleaned out all of the dust and we need to replace the air cooler. So to do that, we need to remove this thing here. And to do that, we need to remove it from the motherboard first. So we unplug that, and then there we go, we remove it. And now Tim always forgot to do this, but you need to put some thermal paste on your CPU, which is that little chip there. It's like the brain of the computer. Uh, so you put a little bit of thermal paste on it, which just helps keep it nice and cool with all the moving parts it's got above it, otherwise it will overheat and it's not very good for your computer. So we'll go to cooling and then there you go, you've got the broken uh, thermal. Ironically we've managed to pick the exact same one, so there we go. We'll go ahead and sell that one, which is broken, selling it for zero dollars so we're not making anything off it. And there we go, we've installed the new one with the thermal paste. We just need to cable it back up, so connect it to the motherboard, which is up there. And that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and cable everything else in, just to make sure it all powers up. There we go. And then, once more, we'll put the side panel back on. And we'll just screw it in. Uh, now, see, it's a bit dusty. It's saying it's completely clean, and it's good enough to go back, but... 
I look after my customers here when we're building. So we will clean it up nice and clean for them. I tell you what, one thing about this game, it will really make you want to clean the inside of your own PC. I had to go out yesterday and buy some compressed air and clean mine as I was ashamed of its condition. Right, there we go. So we will power it on, see if it boots up. There we go, working nice and perfectly. And we'll go and put that by the door. And then we've got the nice easy one for the end here. We'll just pick that up and put it down here. So this one we just have to boot the PC and scan for viruses. So we'll work on this PC, we'll cable it all up. Like so. We'll put in our trusty USB stick right into the back somewhere. There we go. Uh, it's a bit finicky with its USB ports, even though it's got loads of different ones you can use. The NZXT cases quite often have uh, ports on top like that, but for whatever reason you cannot use those ones. You can only use the ones at the back. Go ahead and power it on. And go to the desktop. We'll install our trusty virus scanner. Restart. And we'll run the virus scanner. We'll see if we can beat the one from before. Not quite 367, so not as high as the other ones. Quite clearly not as much porn. So it's now cleaned. We'll go ahead and remove it. And we'll restart for the changes to take effect. And then we'll just go ahead and shut it down. And whack this one by the door ready for pickup. So, there we go. That's the uh, first couple of days. All I need to do now is collect money in payment and get three new uh, computers for me to fix. So I hope you've enjoyed watching just a brief playthrough of the first couple of days of this game. Uh, it's something that I'm really highly rating. I'm really excited to see where this game goes. Um, it's definitely going to be a good tool for uh, people that are going to be building PCs. You can learn how to do quite a lot of things. Um, and see how it's all done. It takes a little bit longer in real life, but uh, it's definitely going to be a good tool for teaching people. And it's also a game that just chews up your time. You'll you'll spend a lot of time on this game if you get it. Uh, it's something that just really gets you enthralled. It just it kills so much time as well. Uh, I think I got this game yesterday, and I've already played about six hours of it. Just clicked on one thing, and then ended up four hours down the line. Doing so, uh, carrying on the campaign so yeah it's a lot of fun uh, and I'm definitely intrigued to see where it goes from here but yeah thank you very much for watching please uh, give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel to see more stuff like this coming out soon and uh, join me again when we uh, continue on the campaign later on